Hundreds came out to express their concerns over alleged racism happening in schools over a three hour public comment. The school board members made their first comments on the alleged concerns. They individually responded and those varied from condemning it happening, calling for discipline reform and asking parents to do more to educate their students. Something just has to change. I can't live like this. An outcry from Powhatan students, teachers and community members over alleged discrimination echoed through the high school's auditorium Monday night. I am truly scared of what will happen if nothing continues to happen. It's a space not typically known to host school board meetings, but a space the school board felt could accommodate the crowd size that made them reschedule last week's meeting because of capacity issues in the normal meeting space. We work as hard as we could and as fast as we could to come up with a solution so that we could continue this meeting so that you could have your opportunity to say and share anything that you wanted to. Hundreds showed up wearing black and holding signs that read racism is a pandemic too, more accountability, and we demand policy enforcement. That's following this photo that circulated on social media last month, allegedly showing a Powhatan High School student with a racial slur written on her arm. It sparked people coming forward claiming similar experiences. I've been called the N-word, monkey, slave. I've reported this every day and nothing's changed. Today, I have had to send out no less than three students from my own classroom because they think the N-word is funny and I am over it. Many say they feel the current policy is not strong enough and not being enforced, which they claim is enabling it to happen. I feel as if I can't report anything because I know y'all keep it on the low, give little investigation and consequences. It makes me not want to report anything. Friday, the Powhatan NAACP sent letters to school and county officials asking leaders to review policies and create a new punishment level for discrimination and hate speech incidents. Parents and community members made similar demands. This behavior is able to continue year after year because these kids are not learning from the disciplinary actions they are given in regard to the current policies in place today. Let me spell it out. Zero tolerance. Just like there is no tolerance for weapons because these kids are using words as weapons. Several spoke in favor of the current policy, saying it doesn't need to change. A handful of residents came to the meeting holding a sign that read the NAACP keeps racism on life support. If, if things are as bad as what I'm hearing tonight, I would think I would see it everywhere. And I don't. So. The board chose to individually address the crowd's concerns. All board members condemn the use of discriminatory language in schools and acknowledge work needs to be done. We can work harder to try to educate our students to have a, you know, be more diligent to have a safer environment and a more comfortable environment for our students. We need to set up a workshop to discuss what we, what next steps we need to do as far as policy and procedure. And the board did not take any immediate action steps on any policies Monday night. The board will meet again on April 9th. In Powhatan, I'm Maggie Marshall, CBS 6 News.